Hi everyone, I'm Emma Gilmore and I drive for McLaren's Extreme E team, making me McLaren's very first female driver. Extreme E helps to raise awareness of climate change, which is the subject of today's lesson, more specifically the impact of greenhouse gases. Thankfully McLaren are doing something about it, and so can you. This lesson could be world changing, no pressure guys. Hello, I'm Gemma and welcome to another episode of McLaren Substitute Teacher. All series we've been looking at sustainability, so ways to improve the impact that we have on the planet and each other. Today we're joined by McLaren's in-house expert, so a warm welcome to Kim. Hi everyone, my name is Kim Wilson and I'm McLaren Racing's Director of Sustainability. I'm going to explain how greenhouse gases create climate change, how McLaren are going to achieve net zero, and how we can all make a difference. I like it. Okay, Kim, let the lesson begin. Carbon dioxide, or CO2, is the main greenhouse gas that's contributing to climate change. Over the past 100 years, people have been burning fossil fuels like coal and oil to heat homes, power factories, and fuel vehicles, resulting in more CO2 entering the Earth's atmosphere. This extra CO2 acts like a greenhouse. It lets the sun's rays through to heat up everything, but stops heat from escaping. This is making our planet warm much faster than it naturally would. That's causing all sorts of unwelcome side effects. Extreme weather, melting ice caps, and rising sea levels. With a target to halve our greenhouse gas footprint by 2030 and achieve net zero by no later than 2040, McLaren is setting the pace that sport can be sustainable. It's now standard practice to be as energy efficient as possible. This includes automatically turning off lights out of hours and air conditioning in empty areas, as well as replacing traditional lights with longer life, energy efficient LEDs. The switch to LEDs will save us 373 tonnes of CO2 each year. McLaren has introduced a brand new state of the art engineering centre for all its European races. Called Race Base, it was designed and built to consider sustainability, cost reduction and energy efficiency. Key features of race space include energy efficient generators, improved air conditioning and compressed air systems, lighter trailers for lower fuel consumption, LED lighting with motion sensors and wall panelling crafted from recycled plastic bottles. Meanwhile, the team's hospitality centre, known as Team Hub, was updated and the number of trucks required to set it up was cut from 18 to 8, halving the facility's greenhouse gas footprint. But it doesn't stop there. McLaren are exploring all sorts of ways to go racing while cutting back on CO2 emissions. Extreme E was launched last year with a core mission to raise awareness of global warming, with each of its five racing locations highlighting the damage being caused by climate change. The car is fully electric, lightweight and built with sustainable materials. The exterior shell is made from natural flax fibres, which brings a 75% reduction in carbon footprint without compromising safety. Meanwhile, in F1, cutting CO2 has driven all sorts of innovations, including the current V6 hybrid power units, the turbocharger and energy recovery systems. This year, the car has moved to E10 fuel, which mixes 90% fossil fuel with 10% ethanol a renewable product made from plants. And from 2026, F1 is planning to introduce a new generation of engines that will run on 100% synthetic fuels. At McLaren, we'll continue to cut our emissions from travel by making use of high-tech video conferencing, as well as using more efficient vehicles, especially electric powered ones. It's all part of McLaren's move to become net zero by 2040, meaning we'll minimise the amount of greenhouse gas emissions we add to the atmosphere and then balance the amount we cannot eliminate completely by investing in high quality offsets that remove an equal amount from the atmosphere. We're building experiences and memories that are worth sustaining. It's all about protecting our planet, our sport and our team for future generations. Now it's your turn as we're going to set you a little challenge because Team Papaya is all about going green. We want your ideas for repurposing a single use plastic bottle like this. Okay, so this could be a funnel or a watering can or a bird feeder or a toy rocket. 
post your solution in the comment sections below or using the social media hashtag McLaren Substitute Teacher. Kim, a massive thanks to you and to all of our substitute teachers. Now it's over to you to put those lessons into practice. Until then, bye. bye.